We all know that size does not necessarily equate to superiority. There are a number of financial benefits that come with owning a more compact vehicle, including low costs for gas, insurance, taxes, and maintenance. However, some manufacturers chose to build some of the smallest cars ever produced by taking the term small to an extreme new level. These are some of the smallest cars ever. We begin with the Smart for Two. A collaboration between Mercedes-Benz and Swatch led to the concept of the Smart Project in the year 1998. This collaboration resulted in a creation of the Smart. Production of the third generation of Smarts began in 2014 and since 2018 all Smarts being sold are entirely electric and have a power output of 82 horsepower. Before that, consumers could choose between two different engines, a 900cc turbocharged inline 3 that produced 89 horsepower, or a non-turbocharged 1 liter inline 3 that produced 76 horsepower. Since the beginning, the goal has been to design a vehicle that is no longer than 8 feet 11 inches in length. And they've been successful in this endeavor with each successive generation. Because of this, the Smart for Two can be parked perpendicularly in places that are designed for parallel parking, making it possible to park two Smarts in the same parking space. Next is the Fiat 600. The Fiat 600 is generally regarded as the first real city car. Between the years 1955 and 1982, it was manufactured in a number of countries under a variety of brand names, the most common of which was Fiat. However, it was also known as the Seat 600 in Spain and the Zastava 750 in Yugoslavia. The original Fiat 600 had a 633cc engine with 21 horsepower in the back, but some latest models used 767ccs and even a 903cc engine. Much like the VW Beetle, it has a rear engine and its rear wheel drive. In total, almost 5,600,000 were made, and unless they are in pristine condition, today they are extremely cheap. Next is the BMW Isetta 300. Due to the fact that World War II left Europe, and Germany in particular, in ruins, a demand emerged for reasonably priced modes of transportation. In the 1950s, things were difficult for BMW, until they attended the auto show in Turin in 1954, and discovered what they were looking for there. Iso Revolta, a modest Italian manufacturing company, was showing off their Iso Isetta at the event. BMW recognized it as the safety net they required and promptly purchased the production license for the vehicle. The BMW Isetta 300 had a 300cc engine producing 13 horsepower and a top speed of about 83 miles per hour. What made the Isetta so popular was its only door located at the front of the car and the fact that the steering column and steering wheel were both attached to the door. BMW made around 137,000 units of the Isetta. Next on the smallest cars ever made, the Reva G-Wiz. Even though it's not technically a car, it is classified as a heavy quadricycle, whereas in the United States it's placed in the NEV category, neighborhood electric vehicle. It's more comparable to a golf cart than a conventional automobile. However, it was for a number of years the electric vehicle that was purchased the most frequently in Britain. It entered production in 2001 and remained in production until 2013, when it was succeeded by the Mahindra E20. The G Wiz is propelled by eight six volt batteries that can be found under the front seats. Together, these batteries generate a total of 17 horsepower, which enables the vehicle to reach a maximum speed of 50 miles per hour. It has a range of 50 miles, but if you drive quickly or use the air conditioner, that can be significantly cut down. Depending on the country, the cost of a brand new one of these ranged from about $12,000 to $13,000. 
Next is the Mahindra E20. The Mahindra is the direct successor of the Reva we've just talked about. It has an electric engine on the rear producing 26 horsepower, and it has a top speed of about 50 miles per hour. It has a range of 60 miles, and it recharges fully in 5 hours in any regular plug. The reason for this car to exist is the growing need for cars in India, and the rising contamination that comes with more and more cars. India is, for now, the only market where the Mahindra is available. Unlike its predecessor, the Mahindra can be considered a car and not just transportation on four wheels. The interior is simple, yet modern. It has space for four people and it has some interesting equipment like keyless entry, a 6.2 inch touchscreen with Bluetooth, GPS and a DVD reader. Next on the smallest cars ever built is the Piaggio Vespa 400. You probably know the brand name Vespa for their motorcycles and scooters rather than their automobiles. However, after the enormous success that they had with their Vespa scooter, Enrico, the son of the company's founder, made the decision to try his hand at manufacturing automobiles. The French manufacturer, ACMA, produced the Vespa 400, also known as the microcar between the years of 1958 and 1961. It is equipped with a manual transmission that has three gears and a two-cylinder, two-stroke engine that is 393cc in capacity and produces 18 horsepower. In just 25 seconds, the Vespa was able to reach its maximum speed of 56 miles per hour. The car had a rear-mounted engine and a rear-wheel drive. The Vespa 400 wasn't much of a success. There were many complaints about the transmission and the fact that because of having a two-stroke engine, it needed oil with every fuel charge. Around 31,000 units were ever made of the Piaggio Vespa 400. Next up on the list is the Peel P50. The Peel P50 is the world's smallest production automobile to date. It was manufactured in the United Kingdom by the Peel Engineering Company between the years 1962 and 1965. This vehicle has a 49cc engine that produced 4.5 horsepower and is capable of reaching a maximum speed of 34 miles per hour. The transmission only has three forward gears and no reverse gear at all. It was marketed as a car that could accommodate one person and one shopping bag at a time. It only featured one door, one headlight, and three wheels altogether. Only 50 units were ever made, and only around half of those are still in good condition. Back then, it cost around $247, but in 2017, a P50 was bought in an auction for $140,000. Well, there you have it. Some of the smallest cars ever built. What do you think? Let us know. Leave a comment below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications of future Boca Brother videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Danny B. And on behalf of my brother, Michael J., we thank you for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.